So the first thing you need to know about the Bronx is 40% of the children in the South Bronx live in poverty. So why should you care? You should care because that can change. 40% of the children are not terminally ill. They have bright futures ahead of them. But poverty obscures that future. Noticing this big crisis in the Bronx, how can it be solved? We're redoing our library right now, so we're looking for bookshelves, um, so people can help that way. You know, the simplest ways. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. You know, five thousand dollars. It can be a hundred bucks for a, an event that we're doing where we need water bottles for the community, and they can get involved in different capacities. Uh, they can volunteer. They can also uh, donate, you know. Um, we don't have any computers, for example, in here right now. Uh, the we have probably a handful of computers um, from 2008. So bringing in resources like books helps and also bringing in resources like computers will help because now a lot of the literacy is, is, is read online and through ebooks as well. Just asking um, as well, coming in and asking our community members what they need. I always ask I always ask people to do that and not just come once you know it's not a one-time thing if you really want to help you got to come multiple times and come continuously not like oh I came and volunteered at one event no you're not making an impact that way and you're not really learning the community that way so if you really want to help and learn come into the community you know and 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 get to know the community members and like, get to know the families get to know the children the young people and then you can understand what they need and what they've been deprived of and then you can see what kind of resources you have that you can come in and bring to the community. In 2014, I remember scouting locations for a short film I was writing, and I needed to find a bookstore. The nearest one was in Bay Plaza. Going from the South Bronx to Co-op City was about 10 miles. The nearest bookstore to me was 10 miles away. In the Bronx, we have no bookstores currently. There is one bookstore in the process of opening. A young woman by the name of Noel Santos uh, is opening up a bookstore in the Port Morris section of the Bronx. So soon we will have one bookstore. But if you think about it, that is one bookstore to serve a million and a half people. There are 34 branches just in the Bronx, so it is definitely not a literary desert. The library I use most here in the Bronx um, is the Bronx Library Center, and it is a vibrant uh, library. I think um, I was talking to a librarian there, and she was saying it is the third busiest library in the New York Public Library system. Our goal is to start preparing teens uh, to build college cultural awareness um, and just to get them familiar with the, the process of, of you know, applying to college, the literature, the exams, um, what should they study, what do they need, uh, and what skills to practice. So that's an example of combining uh, literacy with a, a need for uh, college readiness. And at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're, we're United States of America and, and the Bronx, I feel like, you know, has been dis disregarded, you know, especially in one of the wealthiest cities in the world. The only way to solve a community issue is through a community solution. One of the things we have to do in general is be empowered by our vote. Um, so often people think that you can just complain something into existence that, you know, if I just talk about it enough, it'll happen. No. If you vote about it, it'll happen. If you tell people, if you tell politicians, I'm not going to vote for you unless you restore funding to the library system, which is, which is so crazy because that, that argument comes up every year. Every year the city council debates whether they should shorten the hours of libraries or shorten the, the weeks of a library from maybe six days to five days. I believe this should be part of the national agenda. 